Part 2 The flight return to land Right, I see addict. So we're going to do part two now. So we've got our hover value. If you see, if you haven't seen that video, then have a look at it. Um, it's a way of getting your hover value, your real hover value, in wind. And uh, you can see the quad actually. I mean, this is really stable quad, but you can see it being thrown about. So there's five stages to return to land: ascend, rotate fly home, descend, and land, hopefully, in that order. Now let's get down to the configurator and get this over with, yeah? Okay, so you have to excuse me because I've got a stinking cold. Right, so, as you can see at the top here, 10.9.0 RC4, okay? Right, so I'm connected to my GEP ST frame, the same drone that was in, that was in the crash. Anyway, it's all fixed. So, calibrate ac accelerometer. This is the most important thing that you can do. You've got to calibrate your accelerometer, yeah? And you've got to have angle mode set up. So, if you read the Beta Flight Wiki on it, it's a lot to take in. That's why I'm doing this in stages. So we're going to do this in Clee mode, the command line interface, because GitHub, if you read it, it says do it in your command line interface. There are op there's options in there that aren't in the GUI. So if I type get GPS, Bosch, Okay, so get GPS, black box, black box disabled, GPS equals off, GPS provider equals U blocks, S bass, so it's satellite based augmentation or augmentation systems. It's supposed to speed up um, how quickly it gains satellites, but mine's on auto and that's the default. Please pause and read. Daddy, are you out there? Daddy, why'd you run away? So here's a quick snippet of Daddy, the GPS signals that I'm getting in my room at the moment. Look, Dad, we got the same hair. Daddy, it's my birthday. Notice the difference of the top four GPSs. You've got fully locked and locked. So obviously fully locked is, is what we're looking for. The beauty of having GPS auto config on and GPS auto board is that it, what unit you use in it will actually find its own setting. So mine's five, seven, six hundred. That's for both. Matex M8Q and my TBS GPS version 2. So if you're using a Matex M8Q module, it took me about three days um, of flying to actually get a good SAT fix. And that's a warm start. Cold starts when you've got nothing, nothing in the memory. Warm is when you plug it in. And a hot is when you just use one battery and then go to the next. Airborne, well that's pretty obvious. Galileo, well yeah, I am using Galileo. Please read. Now it's a special day for someone today. It's not my best of days. So we're going to do one more and then that's it for this, uh, this episode. Please stay, please stay. Set home point once. As you can see, mine's off. This is not the same as in the GUI, arming without fix. So guys, that's taken 17 hours to make that second video. So I'm knackered, absolutely knackered. Anyway, listen, 
The next one will continue. It's a few more parameters to put in, just descent distance and, and stuff like that. And then, are you ready to fly <laughs> or crash? Panic. <laughs>